Hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. This is my second time trying to film this video. <laughs> so I filmed a video really similar to this on Sunday. Today is Thursday. And I was trying to edit it and it just wasn't really working for me. <laughs> I don't know, for whatever reason, I just, it just didn't feel right. And I decided to try again. So I just wanna get a lot of thoughts out so I can get another video up for you. And I think that there will be some things that may be interesting to you or helpful to you. But <laughs> part of me, I just feel bad because I haven't uploaded in maybe two weeks or so. And, and that just feels like such a long time. I wanna be consistent. A lot of thoughts I wanna share initially are kind of surrounding all of that. Just a brief explanation of what's going on in my life right now. I started my YouTube channel because I was really sick and a lot of things in my life was changing and I needed some kind of an outlet and I wanted to find some way to help people. So I've, I've continued to deal with chronic illness and have been on a journey to figure out how to heal from chronic illness. I'm not exactly sure what day it was, but it's about my two year YouTube anniversary, which is super crazy. But right now there is so much going on in my life. I'm doing a lot more than I've been able to do since before I got sick, which is really encouraging that I am really making progress, but I am still pushing myself to the limit and sometimes probably over the limit and it can be pretty overwhelming. So I'm in a place right now where I just feel like I'm I'm struggling to get it all done and I don't really know where to cut back because I'm already not able to do a lot of the things that most people would consider bare minimum. So those are some things I'm trying to figure out right now. And frankly, because of all of that in the last couple weeks, YouTube hasn't been able to be my priority, which is totally fine and it doesn't need to be my priority because my health is of course gonna go before that and also I'm in school I'm studying nutrition which has been so amazing I'm just excited to put more nutritional education out there I get so nerdy about these things a lot of times I am honestly holding back with some of the things I could say to the internet but <laughs> that'll come in time and my time reading scripture this morning I was reading in Proverbs 3 which these two verses right here are super famous the first one is verse 5 and this wasn't the one that stuck out to me but it's really famous it says trust in the lord with all of your heart and do not depend on your own understanding but what really stuck out to me was the second one um which is verse 6 and it says seek his will and all you do and he will show you which path to take and you know if you are in my Bible reading plan group in the devotional today it was talking about listening to God and you know we would never go to the doctor and say hey my back hurts my head hurts I have these digestive issues and you just tell all your problems and then you leave and you don't listen to what the doctor has to say the the reality is a lot of us do that with God where we We'll tell God these problems that we have, we'll just kind of vent to God, but we won't actually we won't actually try to listen to him or try to be sensitive to his promptings. So this morning in my life, I'm feeling a little overwhelmed. There is a whole lot going on and some things that I'll share with you and some things that, you know, are personal and I'm not gonna share. I'm gonna trust God with everything that I have and I'm gonna continue to seek him for him to direct my path. Anyways, it's kind of briefly and vaguely talking about how I've been feeling just pretty overwhelmed. And I need to have grace for myself when it comes to YouTube, but I'm hopefully getting a new computer soon, a new to me computer, because my current MacBook Air, my little 2011, um, just four gigabytes of RAM, 11 inch computer is just been struggling. Uh, this is like a hand-me-down computer from a sister and so grateful that I have it because that's how I've been editing videos and it's really challenging to edit videos and I got to a point where I'm like I don't even know if I'll be able to do YouTube if I can't if I can't edit on my computer so anyways hopefully we'll get that soon and especially once I get past midterms for school I'm just planning on getting more consistent with YouTube and I'd love to go back to multiple videos a week again so I need to just stop talking about my plans per se and 
you'll just experience it as it happens. So I just kind of want to update you on some things. One update is that my hair is shorter, so that's cool. <laughs> Another thing, about a week ago, I got really sick, uh, like an acute illness, which some of you don't really understand. Some of you are probably really excited for me because it's really common with chronic illness to never really get typical sickness. You don't really catch colds or get the flu like a lot of people typically do. Now this isn't the case for everyone at all, but what I've seen is that a lot of people, and I got a lot of responses on Instagram of people being like, oh, that's why I never get sick. It's your, your immune system so suppressed that it's just not able to handle viruses and pathogens in the healthy way that it should be able to. So I've been experimenting some things in my health to get my immune system back on track and pretty soon after doing that, I got some kind of a virus or something. I don't know exactly what it was, but I couldn't eat for a couple days. I was super nauseous. I lived off of bone broth and like a sweet potato and I felt feverish and chills and weakness and it was miserable, but it was also awesome because <laughs> I was sick for a couple days and then it was gone. So. I'm excited about that because it really is a good sign that I'm making progress. So there's that, that's a fun update. And I'm sorry I'm being vague about the things that I'm trying, but I am really wanting to understand things well and see how things play out for me before I share a lot because whether or not I say I recommend this, I know there are people out there who maybe they can't afford a functional medicine practitioner and they're just gonna do whatever someone in a similar, similar situation says that they're doing. And every person in their situation is so bio-individual and I just, I'm gonna be hesitant with that. And I'm sure I will share that part eventually. If you wanna do know some of the stuff that I'm doing, I'm continuing infrared sauna kinda normally, but I'm hopefully soon gonna do this sauna niacin detoxification protocol. It's really interesting. You can search it on Facebook and there's this group that kind of tells you how it all works. That, that's, ki that's kind of something that I chose to do on my own, but my doctor approved it. So I'm just wanting to do that to kind of support everything else that I'm doing. So um, hopefully I can get that started next week. And it's a three week protocol, but I'd like to potentially document how it goes on YouTube. Now, the other thing that I need to address that I have talked on Instagram already about, I actually like showed my test results right after it happened. So if you follow me on Instagram, you get all the, the latest information. But many of you know that whenever I was really working with a functional medicine practitioner to try to get down to the root of what was going on or what is going on, we really thought that potentially mold related illness could be a huge factor and it is very common for people with chronic fatigue syndrome fibromyalgia type of illnesses and actually i was listening to this doctor talk about his uh, 6,000 patients with chronic fatigue syndrome fibromyalgia type symptoms they tested all of them and 80 percent of them had mold illness issues. So it was really shocking that mm, the testing that I did before was coming back negative. So my functional practitioner still wasn't convinced, but we were just working with what we had. So my functional practitioner, he did some investigating and had a theory that this certain location, sorry, my voice is going out, <laughs> this certain location that I visit a lot, he had a theory that it might be moldy. So so I hung out at that location for a couple hours and did a visual contrast sensitivity test. And for the first time on that test, I tested positive, which it's not a conclusive test. It's known to be pretty accurate, but it's not diagnostic, but it's definitely pointing you in the right direction. And it was quite drastically different from my other tests. So there was something going on that um, was affecting that looked like biotoxin or mycotoxin, mold toxin, whatever you want to say, illness. I'll link the visual contrast sensitivity test below if you'd like to look into it. It's only $10 and you can do it from your computer. And I know they also give out tests for free if you really can't afford it. I mean, for a lot of people, 
testing's really crazy expensive and getting something that can help point you in the right direction can be really game changing. I'm going to link a couple resources about mold in the description. There's a toxic mold summit coming up next week that I'm really excited about watching a lot of those lectures. You can watch them for free while it's happening during the week and then you'd have to pay if you wanted to keep the videos, you know, to watch them, whatever. But for that type of thing, I usually just watch the free, I mean, I do just watch the free ones. Then I'll link a podcast, all those kind of things. So um, that's really exciting. <laughs> that I am likely getting down to the root, really getting more answers when it comes to what's going on, but also that it very much plays into how I'm feeling overwhelmed. Some of you know how intense it can be to treat mold, especially when it just comes to the mold avoidance. So that's something that I am figuring out right now. I think, I mean, we need to officially test our home. We really don't think it's moldy, but we, we need to test anyways. And then we need to figure out what to do about this other location that we really suspect is moldy that I go to pretty often because I really don't want to avoid it, but I'll do what I need to do. So with all of that, I really, I mean, I'm at a point where it's, it's tough when there's so many different voices that are He's saying a lot of different things. That's one hard thing about the internet too. I love getting to share, but it can be so overwhelming the large amount of advice that I get sometimes. And I really appreciate, you know, people have such good hearts, but it can be it can be a lot to keep up with. So I don't want this video to be too long and I kind of just want to get something up because it's been a little bit and to just kind of tease some things I'd really like to do soon. Like, like I said, I want to talk more about some nutrition science. And I really want to talk about the benefits of red meat and why I love red meat so much. And why that I hate that it's so demonized and really get into the science, you know. And also I would love to bring more people on. I'd love to do more things with my parents, with James, with... My sisters, I keep talking to them about doing a video with them. You know, they're all so busy. We need to get a date to get them all together. I have multiple friends who struggle with chronic illness, so it could be cool to have some of them on to talk to. So I do want to finish this video soon, but I want to end speaking to those of you who are, like me, feeling really overwhelmed. It could be because of a health situation like me. You don't have a diagnosis yet. You're trying to figure out what's going on. You know that you don't feel right in your body and maybe people aren't believing you. Maybe you don't know which way to look or where to learn or where to research and you're trying to figure out all the answers. Maybe you're in a place where you don't know what's next. You're about to graduate college and people keep asking you what you're gonna do with your life and you're really not sure and you thought you knew what you're gonna do but now you're just confused and and don't feel like you have a clear direction maybe you just feel so busy you're just working a ton of hours and you're trying to maintain a good relationship with your kids and your spouse and and, and you're just stressed and you're wondering okay is there more to life how do i actually just enjoy life instead of trying to get everything done I know it's so easy for so many of us to be so overwhelmed and in today's day and age we have so many external things that are just bombarding us and adding to our already heavy burden. I know for me part of what leaves me overwhelmed is just seeing how much people in the world are, are hurting, how many people are dealing with such challenging things. And I just wish that I could do more. I wish that I could fix things. I wish that I could change things. But what I have to remind myself that in all of my life, all of these burdens and all these things that are leaving me feeling overwhelmed, I don't have to carry those burdens. I get the opportunity to go to Jesus and he gives me rest. Scripture says his yoke is easy and his burden is life and it's in him that my soul can truly find rest. Now I'm going to do what I need to do when it comes to prioritizing and managing my energy and my time and saying no to a lot of things so I can say yes to the most important things. But at the end of the day, and I'm preaching to myself saying this and hoping it encourages someone out there too, there can be blessing in those times that I feel overwhelmed because it really for me, it leads me to seek Jesus even more and just let go of whatever is stressing me out and just trust God. It's kind of a 
simple revelation, but I've just been reminding myself that worry doesn't change anything. Things are gonna happen in its own timing and I'm gonna do what I can and trust God with the rest. I'm gonna leave things with that. Thank you for listening to me just talk and rant. I appreciate it. Thanks for being patient with me as I'm taking a little bit to get more videos up. But I love getting to do this. I love getting to connect with you. And I know some of you think like, it's only been two weeks. I don't know, it's a long time in YouTube land. The algorithm wants you to be really consistent. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good life, have a good day. Whether it's afternoon, evening, morning, or night, whatevs. <laughs> I will see you in the next video. Bye.